The take home from this workshop on interagency conflicts is that, and as I stated in my presentation, that we are all, all the security agencies are, are the main or principal cardinal objective is to achieve the same goal, which is national security. And uh, there's no need to emphasize on national security because as I have heard several definitions and conceptualizations of security, and I did quote uh, McNamara, why he says security is development and development is security. Without security, there will be no development. So I'm serving the same goal, the same objective. The sooner in the various agencies, security agencies, understand that fundamental fact, the sooner they will work together, collaborate together, then we'll have the effectiveness, we'll have peace and security in Nigeria. The first one, like I said, is for us, for security agencies to understand that they are all working for the same goal. That is the state of Nigeria, well-being and welfare and safety of its citizens and the country at large. Number two is education. They must understand the, the various roles of the various security agencies and the overlaps in responsibilities and how to manage those overlaps. The other one, uh, the, the third one is to see the, um, the unnecessary and embarrassing uh, nature of, of, of uh, rivalry, of competition. It's about collaboration to achieve an objective, not compete, competition, interagency competition. It is not about superiority of individuals between and among security agencies and security personnel. There are laws establishing various security agencies and there are procedures of operation and there are also procedures for handing over from one organization to another. As I mentioned in the lecture, how the police started managing just crisis in 2010, how the military had to come in. That's a procedure for handing over. And I did mention how the AIG in, of that zone from Makudi had to come to my office and we did it. And when the situation improved, we follow again the same procedure to hand over back to the police. I'm talking about education now, training. You must know your duties, you must know your responsibilities, you must know the overlaps and how you relate and integrate synergy with other agencies. So that's, that's it. Education, education, education. If you don't know, you can't deliver. And there will continue to be a crisis as long as individuals don't train, individuals remain ignorant. And that's why in the paper I mentioned deliberate and non-deliberate actions leading to the conflicts.